Hello world, today in hacking news, Google has a gift for cyber criminals, a brand new top level domain called .zip. Okay. Just like .com, .net or .pizza, yes, that's a thing. You can register a .zip domain today for just a few dollars a year. By the way, I haven't got rid of my screen tearing. So you know what? You guys can all go f yourselves. Uh, I'll trust me, I'll get to sway at some point. Okay, at some point I will get to sway. One obvious use case for .zip is a link shortener, and someone's already done it. This comes with a bit of irony, of course, thanks to the file type with exactly the same extension. You have zip files which expand, and now you have zip links which also expand. However, is that zip? Is that irony or is that serendipity? That's not irony. It's a disaster. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that's not I irony. It's neither. Yeah, I guess it's not neither because it's not serendipity because it's not a coincidence. So it's 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 not even dramatic irony. It's not irony at all. Right, like I th I'd say the only irony would have to happen is that if you got a zip URL, the only irony that would exist is that a dop zip IRL URL is longer than all other URL shorteners. So it is actually the least shortening of all URL shortening. So the thing in which is supposed to make it short and sounds like it's supposed to be the fastest and shortest one is actually the longest and least good one. That would be irony. But this is just, yeah, this is just a pun. There is a price to pay for this minor amusement, and that's because cyber criminals are going to love .zip domains. Okay, why? For example, and this is wild, let's say you receive a perfectly innocent email from a family member containing some photos, but importantly, with the file name in the email. Because .zip domains are now a thing, that file name becomes a link. A bad actor could register a bunch of common file names so that if you mistakenly click the link thinking you're just downloading the attachment, you're sent to the website familyphotos.zip, which auto downloads a file of the same name, within which there are no family photos, just malware. By Google introducing this new TLD. Damn. You know, between that and the fact that AI can now do voice mimicking really, really good, like, old people are getting screwed. Right. You're, not only are they not going to be able to get their family photos, their precious granddaughter is going to call them, who's apparently been abduct abducted and is crying for help, but it's actually just AI. They're going to get double had in the same day. They're going to get dot zipped these nuts and then dot ransomed these nuts all at the exact same time. Can you believe that people do that with AI? Honestly, if I ever, I think that if if you get caught using ai to scam people by ra by making it sound like their daughter or their granddaughter is ransomed and you're caught with that i think you should des you deserve to be hung that is just so awful Death a vast penalty. number Get of out. instances Get of out. people simply stating a phone out have potentially been weaponized overnight and it won't surprise you to learn that bad actors are already jumping on the bandwagon. There's a GitHub repo which has been tracking newly created zip domains. This includes backup.zip, archive.zip, homework.zip, and thousands of others. Homework. However, zip. some of these You deserve that. Dude, you deserve that. If you are a college student or a high school student, someone's like, hey, you want to cheat on the homework? Homework.zip! And you fall for homework.zip? Oh, Man, I hope it gives you the Ligma malware. Des deservingly. ...registered by white hats in order to take them off the market, so to speak, denying cyber criminals access to them. Some have been turned into landing pages lambasting Google for introducing the .zip TLD, but there are malicious .zip domains Yeah, I've been already there. I've been to Microsoft Office.zip. I've been to this one. I just can't wait to put my credentials in there because it is like, it's so exciting. You could put credentials in here. I almost feel like what would be the truest thing you should do is we should get some sort of distributed puppeteer to visit this site over and over again and give it millions of bad credentials to the point where we DDoS these dumb people. That would be great, huh? In use, such as this one, Microsoft Office Dossip, which hosts a lovely phishing page. However, there are other malicious uses of .zip domains that are a little more nice. sophisticated than just waiting for passive traffic to roll by. I found an Such incredibly a sneaky yeah. method in a Medium article, which I'll link below. There's a bit of an explanation to this one, but stick with me because you okay. absolutely okay. have to know about this and I doubt you've seen it before. Take a look at this URL. It links to GitHub and downloads a Kubernetes repository in the form of a zip file, right? Well, no. 
Click the link and you'll be taken to v1271.zip, which could be configured by a bad actor to do anything like serve you an infected copy of the zip you were What? Hold on. Okay, hold on. Here, hold on. I got... I'm... I... I got a GitHub. So how does that work? So we're going to go to Git, uh, GitHub archive refs tags that. Okay. So uh, github.com, the primogen... Uh, TS Zigdi's nuts. Uh, archive tags. Is that what it is? Archives tags. Hold on, hold on. I gotta see this. Uh, archive or refs tags. Archive ref tags. Archive refs tags at your mom dot zip. At used to be a credential login. It's uh, it's an at. Anything before the at is basically an wait, hold on, hold on, Ooh, hold on, hold on. What am I missing? Uh, th it's fake slashes. Oh, it's fake slashes. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Okay, keep watching. Yeah, I'm dumb. Okay. Yeah, I well, see what happened no. here. Click the link and you'll be taken to v yeah. which Shut could up. be configured by a bad actor to do anything like serve you an infected copy of the zip you were expecting. But what's going on here? Clearly the domain in the URL is github.com. Yep. Let's dissect this. You'll see an at in the URL just before the zip yep. domain. Now you get the whole, this yeah. is a big red flag and is a sign that the link is taking advantage of a little known feature of URLs called user info. This parameter can be used to specify login credentials for Damn. You know, just looking at that, it still blows me away. Like, this is legitimately little known. I mean, it is a fairly... I mean, when when people say little known, you got to understand that this individual chat has probably SSH'd more... Like, statistically, type one in the chat if you've used SSH. Go ahead. Type one if you use SSH. Yeah. Uh, that looks nothing like the real world. I want you to know. My mom doesn't even know what SSH is. Okay? I'd have to go put my SSH keys on your mom's computer if she wishes to SSH into anything. Okay? Feel me? You feel me? Okay? Okay. Calm down now. Okay? Calm down now. For a web application. And, uh, uh, coding with Lewis, I agree. This, this editing is incredible. This is what I yearn for. But at the same time, I don't yearn for it. So you're automatically authenticated when you're sent to whatever comes after the at. However, this feature of including login credentials in URLs is more of a legacy feature and isn't really used much nowadays because yep. people quickly realized that including plain text credentials within a URL is pretty bad for security. Yep. Nevertheless, the feature lingers in modern browsers. Yep. So in our malicious URL, everything before the at is treated as a user info parameter and you're really sent to v1271.zip instead. Damn. However, that's something a good, that's still a good, that's doesn't a great add hack. up. I mean, the link to this very Medium article includes an at to specify the author of this article. So why doesn't this invalidate the, the medium.com part of the slash, URL? The this is because when the browser sees a slash character in the URL, it treats whatever comes mm. after it as a path. So you can't really just take any URL and tack on at arbitrary domain.zip and expect to be sent there. Our malicious link, however, accomplishes this through the use of a certain Unicode character that looks very similar to a slash, but- Dude, Unicode is a mistake. Okay, the fact that there's like that whole Greek question mark that's a semicolon. And now slashes that aren't slashes. Okay, I don't... I... Okay, I don't get this. Okay, it feels like my world is falling apart constantly with, with Unicode. Okay, if we could just go back to just non-Unicode days. Okay, ASCII is beautiful. Okay, it, it has all the characters we ever need, including decimal 30, record-breaking space okay that's all you need it isn't compare the slashes in our malicious url to the slashes in an innocent url they're at slightly more of an angle but it's not enough of a difference to set off alarm bells this all makes possible hyper convincing phishing links the only giveaway that something just isn't right here is, off. is the true look. domain appearing in the bottom left when you it's not just that the kerning is all off did you see the look at that look how bad the kerning is that okay well at least you can kind of visually tell that something's effed up 
Kerning is a really hard thing. You know that we had production issues at Workiva, who used to be known as Web Filings because of the Interrobang? The Interrobang, okay? Kern these nuts is what I have to say to Kerning, okay? The way that something just isn't right here is the hey, true Kerning. domain appearing in the bottom left when you hover over the link and the fact that some fonts do make the fake slashes look slightly odd. But other than that, there isn't even an opportunity to realize you're being sent to a malicious domain because as per normal download link behavior, the time- If someone ever sends me the email, download Kubernetes, I'll know. I'll know right away that whether or not the link is malicious, the intent is clearly malicious, okay? Someone trying to get me to learn Kubernetes via email? I don't think so, okay? Suspicious, sus, sus, sus. Okay, you should just know by now that nobody is gonna be sending you Kubernetes links via email. Tab only opens for a fraction Ridiculous. of a second until the download starts. Oh, and if you're holding on to hope that this will be fixed by browsers, don't. A yeah. Chromium bug report seven years ago raised the issue of Unicode slash lookalikes, and it was decided that nothing would be done. As really? such, this phishing method isn't new per se, but it's made a whole lot more useful thanks to bad actors now being able to serve the exact file type the victim expects. I feel like, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't the proper fix, quote unquote, the proper fix is that any URL with the slash in it should just get auto URL component encoded. And this just make sure that those type of Unicode characters get Unicode encoded. They get, so you have to do that, right? So that way you're, you'd automatically see your URL all screwed up. Yeah, percent whatever. Peery codes, yeah, whatever they're called. Yeah, that happens a lot. It does happen a lot. When I tried to, even when I tried to do that at sign, if you didn't notice that, when I tried to do that at sign, wherever it was, where did I go? You'll notice that it did a, it did a, it gave me a little percent 40. Like it did it for me. I don't know. Uh, it would need to encode before you click the URL. Well, I mean, it kind of, I think I'm not, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. It sucks. It just, it just feels like something, this is something that Chrome should like warn you about. You know, like anyone that's putting their, their username and password, th this just feels crazy. This just feels crazy that we've opened up this huge domain. I didn't even know that how bad this was. This feels crazy. Google has I'm published a, a hard statement time. defending their new zip domains in which they said the risk of confusion between domain names and file names is not a new one. They give the example of the .com TLD, which actually used to be a file extension in the early days of Windows. It was similar in function to .exe. However, that's a bit of an absurd comparison because you'd have to go back to the first half of the 90s to find .com files being used regularly to imply that just because it didn't pose a problem then that it won't now. That is an incredible Windows logo. Did 3.5 really get, I never, it, it, wow, look how beautiful that is. You guys remember the old days of booting up, starting in DOS? And then you'd actually have to type in win and go into Windows. So good. I installed Doom. Doom took five separate, five separate uh, floppies to get it installed. Five. Okay. Five. It was so good. It was so good. Windows 2K is the best. No, it's not. So good. Okay. I loved it. I was installing Doom. I was eight years old, put, or not even eight. I was like six years old putting Doom on my computer. Blasting bad guys. Beautiful time is ridiculous. The number of people connected to the internet back then was tiny. It barely registers on a graph and cybercrime wasn't the multi-trillion dollar industry that it is today. The rest of Google's statement. I only played Duke Nukem because I thought I could see some titties. Okay, real talk. Doom was fun. Duke Nukem was for the hope of seeing titties. Okay, when I was a little kid, I was exposed, I was exposed to porn at a very young age and I truly... Just wanted to see more titties. That's all I wanted as a young kid. And so that's why I played Duke Nukem. We all know it. Okay, we all know it to be true. Okay, we all know it. Don't even try with me. Doom, on the other hand, you played because you wanted to kick some caca demons ass. Okay? Little caca demons. Or whatever sound they make. They make that stupid sound. You just, make, you just want to shoot them with a rocket launcher constantly. What's that dumb sound they make? Oh my goodness, just, I just hate it here. I'll, I'll manly up my voice a little bit. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. So stupid. It's just waffle, really. Dot .zip isn't the only newly created TLD. There's yeah. also dot .mov, which has also proved dot controversial. .phd Again, is for anyone with a, a file doctorate. Type sharing the same extension. Now, Dude, did you see that? What? Dude. If someone showed me their dot .phd website because they have a doctorate, I would unfriend them on Facebook if I had a Facebook account. Got a Mark Zuckerberg. Please don't practice your Brazilian jiu-jitsu on me, though controversial again thanks to a file type sharing the same extension now i want to hear your guys's thoughts on all of this is the existence of dot zip a dumb idea i mean there's already 1500 tlds do we really need any more in particular confusing ones or is the drama just hype and so long as developers implement some basic changes like not auto hyperlinking dot zip domains we'll all just be fine let me know your thoughts down in those comments this video is sponsored by PCBWay. Let's watch. Hey, I'm going to I'm going to give him some thoughts and then I, I will we'll watch his sponsorship cuz you know what that's the nice thing to do here. But I, I do want to give some thoughts here really quickly on this. Do I think it's bad? I think the thing is is that Google should put in some protections. Uh, the browser should put in some protections. If you follow a link that is a dot .zip, like there's an entire class of people that will just be had by it every time. It does not matter. You are had 100% of the time. And I think taking the time to protect people against that would be a good idea, right? Like if you go to a non-secure place or a place that has bad HTTPS credentials, they're like, absolutely, it's terrible. Proceed with caution. This is this is dangerous, right? So you, you would think that, hey, uh, you know, maybe if, if you go to a .zip that downloads something right away, maybe you should consider just maybe like putting up a little bit of a warning for somebody. That could be nice for them, right? Uh, I think this that, that you could save you could save a lot of people that aren't tech savvy. Obviously, everyone in here very very tech savvy. They're probably gonna get had by this anyways. Go because you go want to go watch family photos. Zip classic maneuver really. Solution for Ridiculous. all your PCB fabrication and on-demand 3D printing needs. From standard PCBs to the more advanced varieties, PCB nice. provides granular control over every element of your Look PCB. Look how beautiful that is. super-fast turnaround times, you'll be spending more time creating that. and less time waiting on packages. PCB I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait for From shit. CNCing and sheet metal okay. cutting to 3D printing and injection molding, there's an array of materials to choose from Look and of course, super-fast turnaround times. Sign up now using the link in the description to get a $5 coupon which can be used site-wide. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. All right, people, you know what to do. What I want you to do is I want you to go here and I want you to press the like button and I want you to press the subscribe button, okay? Because that's who we are. We're good people around here. The name is the primogen.